Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on the Power XL Air Fryer Grill Plus. This is the family size as seen on TV. It says it has these eight functions. We're going to see about it. As a preliminary matter, I should let you know I purchased this air fryer through Facebook Marketplace. Went to the girl's house picked it up it was unopened but there was a dent in the box didn't seem major take it out of the box and it is a pretty significant dent although it's only on the outside it's not dented on the inside be careful with those facebook marketplace purchases people the machine is pretty light and easy to handle no hassles here so today I decided to test this machine with Parmesan crusted chicken breast. I'm using almond flour. Let's see, some Parmesan bread crumbs that I'm gonna mix with flaxseed to increase the nutritional value. We've got a couple of eggs for the egg wash. And of course, uh, some Parmesan cheese, marinara sauce, and seasonings. And so that's what my station looks like there. Fast forward a bit, this is not a tutorial. Here's my chicken all breaded and prepped and ready to go in the machine. Had to pick up a meat thermometer. That's important when using, well, when cooking in general. You wanna make sure your meats, the internal temperature is correct. As far as the insides of the machine, it comes with this um, rack but notice it also looks bent or they're like there's a dent. You see that crooked wire there? I don't know if that's because of the Facebook situation or if maybe it's supposed to be like that. If you guys have one of these, let me know. All right, and there is a tray. I have not put this baby to use yet. It kind of looks like a baking sheet. And what else came in there? Oh, the drip tray. This goes under the lower heating element. And the instructions say to always have the uh, drip tray in there before using the machine. And next is the basket. I cooked fries in this basket. They were horrible, but that's because I didn't follow instructions. And then here's the grilling plate, and this is what I used for the chicken. Sort of, that grilling plate is a tad heavy. All right, and that's our chicken ready to be grilled. Let's fast forward this joint a bit. Oh, I forgot. This is the uh, cookbook that comes with it. Kind of gives you instructions on the settings to use and the tools to use. So... Here, the uh, oven has been preheated as I was instructed in that book and other YouTube tutorials. It's uh, 400 or 450 degrees, I don't recall. And my plan was to whip up some breaded zucchini as well. I'll just tell you, I was filming late, I got tired, and I actually ended up not cooking the zucchini. Here I was struggling a bit. Um, so the instructions in the book didn't say anything about flipping it halfway. However, when you watch tutorials on YouTube, um, people almost always stop halfway through their cook time and flip whatever it is that they're cooking for even distribution. I do recommend that. So I let mine go a little too long. You can see the grill lines are a tad dark. All right, so I'll let it cook a few minutes longer. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so stuff is getting real around here. Um, I had a hard time trying to open my uh, thermometer, so I haven't checked the temperature yet, but it kind of looks overcooked. I'm such a novice, like this is a struggle, but I got the sauce and the cheese on there, so now I gotta go find some scissors to open up this thermometer so that I can check it. 
Um, yeah, this stuff better be good. Stay tuned. All right, sorry it's so dark over here. Um, so I've got the temperature situation. Uh, all right, it's supposed to be 165. Woo! Okay, it's uh, overdone. Okay, so here is what I've come up with. And here's some asparagus that I made in the oven just because I'm not used to this air fryer yet. I'm learning. It don't look half bad, a little crispy. And here is the aftermath. So I'm, this is the mess I'm gonna have to clean up, which it's not terrible. The machine didn't smoke like crazy or anything. Um, so what am I about to do now? Oh, so I've cut up this zucchini, but I'm just gonna have to take a picture and, and show that um, last. So right now I'm about to get a plate and cut it so you guys can see and take a bite. And I'll have some pictures of the zucchini situation afterwards. Okay, so I did um, accidentally pull this corner off. So I was trying to use my fingers to pull it out or off of the tray onto my plate. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna cut it open so you can see. Oh, that looks wonderfully juicy. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for this food. All good things come from you. Jesus' name, amen. Doesn't that look wonderful? The cheese melted, the sauce is warm, chicken looks moist, but crispy on the outside. Here we go. Mmm, mmm. Oh my word. Mmm, hmm. Oh, you gotta taste this. Hold on. My goodness. Okay, here comes. Open the air. The, the, okay, here comes the airplane. <laughs> Sucker. Just kidding. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Now, I was a little heavy handed on the salt, so next time I know, don't be so heavy handed. But yeah, thanks for watching this amateur novice experiment for the very first time. Let me get a screenshot here with an air fryer. Good night. All in all, I really enjoy this machine. I do recommend it.